In today's video, we're battling two fan favorite rarities, gold versus ghost rare. What's up guys, we are back with another epic video where we have a full display of Gold Series 3 versus Ghost from the past two. There's been a Gold Ghost Rare in the past, you know, Gold Series Haunted Mine. So I figured why not split them in half, do a little battle of both Ghosts and Gold. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Blue Flame Swordsman Legendary Collection 4 promo pack. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will Gold Rare win or a Ghost Rare win? And which is your favorite, Gold or Ghost? Or maybe the Gold Ghost? All right, let's crack into them. I don't remember the exact configuration these but they are very similar so i'm going to open these up uh we'll go mini box by mini box just for fun you know because gold series mini box i'm destroying this goes from the past but gold series mini boxes look pretty cool and we got to get something out of all this waste they've <laughs> they've added by adding all these extra boxes we'll start off with ghost from the past two which has four or five card packs i think gold series three is in the original gold series so they have 25 card packs so there's only one pack per mini box which is pretty insane that they have a giant box with one pack in it it's pretty crazy but uh they technically have more cards because there's only 20 cards in here and there's 25 in that one there's just more packaging so that you could say that that's ridiculous because you know they have all these different packages just for four cards or whatever. So here we go. Or five cards, I should say. Ghost from the past two. Uh, higher end potential on Ghost from the past two because they can get Ghost Rares. Uh, Gold Series has some pretty nice Edison staples, though. So if there's no Ghost Rares pulled, they're going to have a good chance. We're going to have a battle, so there will be a score on the screen. So far, no one scored anything because that didn't have much. Cyber Dragon booster pack. Nine different Ghost Rares in this set. So very exciting. Very fun. Let's see who can win. Will it be Gold? Will it be Ghost? Gold's going to be more consistent. Ghost is more... Uh, you know, roller coastery, more high end. You might, you know, the floor is low, the ceiling is high. You know, as you know, you could pull something crazy or you could just pull nothing. So let's see if we can pull something crazy. Uh, Necro Slime, we have Cacatorium, Swirl Slime, we have Void Cauldron, and Chronicle Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon. We believe in you. Will you destroy the Kaiba? I don't know who you're going to destroy. Okay, Malefic Cyber and Dragon. We have Alien Ammonite. I guess the Gold Series. And uh, okay, so the first mini box. Here's the score from the first mini box. I think it was zero. So here we go. So speaking of high ceiling, low floor, this one is more like uh, high floor, low ceiling because there's a lot more like a couple dollar cards in here. There's not so many like really expensive, crazy cards. I think the most expensive card is Thunder King Ryo in here. So that's like a $15 card. So we're not looking at any crazy high, but we are looking for a bunch of different ones. Uh, okay, how do you open this? Oh, this is a, yeah, this is like this. Got to remember how these work. So with these, you just open them up kind of like a flap. This is how, I think maybe Ghost from the Past 1 was like this. Maybe, I can't really remember. They've No, I don't think it was actually, now that I'm thinking about it. There's been so many different like mini display ones. And as you can see, one singular pack. So this entire box, just one pack. I do like the, the look of it though. It's really pretty. It's really cool. You feel like you're buying like, you know, it is gold series. It feels like, oh, I'm getting something high end when I get this, uh, even though in theory, it's not that high end. Well, I guess in reality, not in theory in that case. So let's see about gold series three, one booster pack. Uh, you get three gold rares per pack, I think. Let's see, oh, right off the bat, you're gonna get a gold rare. So I guess that we should uh, not spoil the rest of them. So first we have my body as a shield. I don't think that's a big one. We have Miss Valley Windmaster, Blackwing Sirocco, Amazonas Paladin, the Blizzard, the Far North. Whoop. Amazon of Swords, one man. Aegis of Gaia, Worm Falco. Little uh, Attack on Titan action. We have Miss Condor. I finally watched the end of that. Eh, mixed feelings about the end of Attack on Titan. I know, because I didn't watch the... I always watch the dub. I know. Oh, dub, so weird. You're crazy. Why do you watch the dub? Sounds way better. I can't help it, guys. It's just easier for me to watch and dub. Okay, so I waited till the release. I didn't get any spoilers. I watched it the other day, and I was just like... Blow Piper, we have Bore the Spear. I don't know, it's probably, I don't know. What'd you guys think about the Attack on Titan finale? Let me know in the comments. No spoilers, by the way. Like, just generic, what do you think about it? Uh, because some people probably haven't seen it. We have the Infernity Archfiend. I think this is actually a really good one. And then uh, Armed Wings. Those are probably both pretty good. I feel like that was a good pack. Okay, so that was Infernity Archfiend, which is apparently the fourth most expensive card at eight bucks. Then it was Armed Wing, which is a 10 or $9.50 card, rounded up to 10. That's the third most expensive card. So the top two are Dimensional Alchemist and Thunder King Ryo. So we just pulled two of the top four. That's a great start. My Body's a Shield, actually a $6 card? Really? So we got three of the top six cards, and then we got three or two $1 cards as well out of the common slot. So that was <laughs> kind of crazy. I think Gold Series just shook a huge lead. As I was saying, 
high floor, low ceiling. So they're going to pull a lot of like decent cards and build up small amounts as it goes. Ghost from the past is really going to have to pull a ghost rare to really have a chance. But the thing is, if they are able to pull a ghost rare, they probably win because the ghost rares are worth a lot. The thing, well, here's the thing. Some of the ghost rares and ghosts in the past two have gone down. So if you pull a good ghost rare, you probably win. So it is going to be tough for uh, ghosts from the past. At first, I was thinking, man, there's pretty low values in this in this gold series. But then we just pulled like, what, a $20 pack right there or something like that. I mean, that's going to be hard to beat on its own. So we've got another four packs here. Let's see if we can get a ghost rare. Ghost from the past, second haunting. These came out of a fresh case. So 100% nothing's been opened or anything out of this case. So I'm hoping that we can get something. And you guys remember, it's zero to like eight ghosts in one case, like anywhere in between those numbers. Like you could get zero, which happened to a lot of you guys when it first came out, it was this huge bummer. Or you could have like seven or eight, which happened to some of you guys as well. I don't think I ever got to like eight. I might've pulled like six, maybe seven one time, because we did open a lot of this set trying to get all the ghost rares. You guys remember the red eyes was tough to get. Chimera Tech and Fossil Machine, Skull Convoy, two packs left. Wow, Ghost from the Past, you need a big hit because Gold Series is starting off swinging. Kind of like Mike Tyson. <laughs> Did you guys see Mike Tyson is fighting? He's like 60 years old. Super crazy. Cynet and uh, Crystal Beast, Rainbow Dragon. It is one of the craziest things I've ever heard. Not surprised it involves Logan Paul, or J Jake Paul, sorry, the other one, not the TCG one. We have Trackback, we have Despot, we have Domain, Crimson Knight, and a Shell Knight. So they literally might have zero dollars right now. All right, Gold Series, I mean, <laughs> one pack, you've already pulled like 20 something dollars, and that's pretty good. It's not gonna make up for your total price of your pack, but it's definitely pretty decent. You're getting some good stuff out of there. Gold Series, dun da da, -da reveal the cards. Okay, Gold Series. Pretty weird looking pack. I like that. I don't like this as much as I like that. Okay, I forgot there at the front. So there's a gate or a, which one is that? I can't remember. We'll wait. I can just look. <laughs> Why am I flipping it over? Uh, oh, it is Gale. It is Gale. So I was right. Okay. Warm up. For some reason, I was second guessing myself. We have Paladin, Miss Condor, Blizzard, the Far North, Amazon Swordswoman, Magical Arm Shield. We got Fighter, Ruxin Special, Blackwing Sirocco, Dramatic Rescue. You can get a lot of Black Wings out of here. Amazon Archer, Simo loves this pack. Well, I don't know the deaths, but I assume he does. Amazon's Blow Piper Hiccup. We have a Ages of Gaia. We have Shura. Okay, that's another dollar card. Black Whirlwind. A Kalut, speaking of Simo. Destiny Draw. Infernity Dwarf. We have Worm Gulse. Nova Summoner. Another one's over a dollar. And Plague Spreader Zombie. Gotta be decent for Edison and stuff like that. Another Armed Wing. Wow, that's crazy. That's actually really good luck. Armed Wing. Super nice. We have not pulled a Thunder King Ryo yet, but we will take that. That is super nice. They are, man, they are really extending their lead here. This pack was not as good as the last one, but it was still really good. Ghost from the past two. Bless us with something good. We're going to do two from the back. We have, these are a little warped. Uh, we have Tenny Spirit. We have the Altergeist, Master Hyperion, Shell Knight. I was hoping the warped meant we had something crazy in there, but it didn't. Next pack is the Red Dragon Archfiend, which is also a ghost rare and goes from the past too. Oh, come on, come on. Let's make it happen. I haven't pulled a ghost rare in a little bit. We have a zombie world, vampire grace, Desmond comedy, and majesty hype here. We have not pulled a single card worth anything. That's the risk of ghost from the past too. You could open it up and they could be worth literally nothing. So, I mean, I could be wrong and some of these could be like a dollar, but I don't remember any of these being good. Great mammoth. That's a cool looking card. Alien Ammonite and Galaxy Soldier. That used to be like $3, but I don't know if it's over a dollar anymore. That could be the first dollar. First dollar on the score. Put it up if it was. First, sure. I'm going to put it up anyway, but hopefully that added them on the scoreboard. We have Yangshi. Doo -doo, uh, D -d -d Duo Dawn King, Kaliuga. Gigamantis. And Infernity Pawn. Chronicle Magician. Wow, this might just be an absolute beatdown. Gold versus Ghost. It literally is Gold versus Ghost because Ghost is... We can't see them. Where are you guys? You guys haven't scored any points. You're very ghostly. <laughs> Impossible to find. All right. Gold Series 3. Come on, baby. Continue your dominance. Let's see what you can do. Okay, it's at the front, so we got to do... I'm going to remember it this time. That. There we go. That wasn't super easy. Okay, let's just set these down there. Those are the three gold rares. We've got Amazonist Blowpiper, Kalut. Okay, Malicious. Pull that out. We have Worm. Because that. Okay, another dollar from those two. $1.50 maybe from Malicious. We have Infernity Guardian, Miss Valley, Chain Master, Grub the Ice Barrier, Bore the Spear, Worm Hope, Amazonist Paladin, Sirocco, Miss Condor, 
and Infernity Dwarf. Okay. I feel like you, in Gold Series, you get a lot of the same commons, and that felt like that there. We have an Exploder Dragon. That's not bad. Uh, Thunder King Ryo. Let's guard the set, baby. Let's go. And enemy control. Econ, baby. Left, right, A, B. Haha, <laughs> Yugi. Left, right, A, B. Enemy controller. I got to work on my Kaiba voice. Here we go. Thunder King Ryo. That's an amazing pull. I mean, they've got like $60 worth of value now. That goes from the past. You need a big ghost rare. You need one big time because right now you got like zero bucks and they got like 60 or something. I don't know. Just winging it off the prices. Ghost from the past. Hey, I don't know if you know, but we are attempting to pull the most value here. Not the least. Uh, this is not golf. Okay. Infernity Sage. Necro Dragon, you got this. Nirvana Hat Paladin, we have Flint Cragger and Time Thief Temporal Wall. Sure, sure, why not? Ghost from the past too. Guys, we need some luck. Send it in the comments. If you're a Ghost Rare fan, send some luck for your team. Team Ghost Rares in the chat, AK in the comments, because this is not live. Okay, <laughs> two from the back. Let's go, guys. Can we do this? We have Tiny Spirited Hara, Visionary Multiply Guide, that's an Necro. Bluebeard and Boral End Dragon. That used to be a dollar. I don't think it is anymore. Goes from the past two. Two years old, by the way. Isn't that crazy? Not two years, but a year and like a half or something. We have Hello. We have Sanctuary in the Sky. We have Nine Pillars and Dark Alligator. This is going to be a rough one. All right, Gold Series 3. It's your fourth mini box. You have a massive lead. We might be going two in a row here, just so Ghost from the Past can maybe have a last pack magic, a comeback or something. But it's going to be tough with the way it is right now. I mean, Gold Series still got an extra pack over them. Huge lead. This is looking like, uh, yeah. oh, I did it again. OK, that's fine. It's fine. Plague Spreader. We've already gotten that. So, all right, Plague Spreader, you go over there. I did it again. I ruined it. We have Amazon's Blowpipe or Aegis. Shura, we've got like every pack. I think we've gotten a Shura. Uh, yeah, because you get a lot of time in these gold series, they tend to go in like the same order. You just get the same cards, which is pretty interesting. It's different, I think, for the gold rares, but maybe not malicious. That's all the good commons that are a dollar or more and a magical arm shield. That is uh, really good. And then we have Plague Spreader, which is a nice one. And Prisma used to be huge, but it looks like because it got a reprint, I think not as big. And Mystical Space Typhoons. So that's a pretty card. Definitely our worst gold rares in terms of value, but I mean, they're all really solid, iconic cards. Prisma was pretty big out of Legendary Collection, GX and Raw Yellow for a while, but then got the reprint, killed all those those old values. Okay, we're gonna go back to back gold series just so we can have, uh, go, just so Ghost in the Past can feel like they have a chance, because right now it's, I mean, they're running away with this. And I mean, honestly, Ghost from the Past 2 is gonna have to pull something, like they can't pull like Eye of Tamias or Dark Arm Dragon or any of those that are like 40 bucks or less. Like they gotta pull a big one. They can pull Dark Magician Girl, they can pull Blue Eyes. I'm trying to think what else that, I mean, Red Eyes might not even be enough. Like it's gonna be tough. So Gold Series 3, it'd be pretty crazy if they were able to come back. But I mean, we could, uh, okay, that was a, it's an effect monster. That's all we saw. I didn't quite spoil it. Let's see what these commons are. Worm Hope, yeah, okay. Seen these before, we have Magical Arm Shield. Just get, will we get a Shura? So that was, might be our first time. To, oh, we did get a Shura. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We got one. Okay, Nova Summoner. So we got two of the good cards out of that. Even those commons have, the total common value is more than, uh, okay, I need to get that off. But, oh, well. It's more than the entire Ghost of the Past opening, which is pretty sad. Another Plague Spreader. Okay. Gale, we've got that one. And a Vice Dragon. All right. So uh, those are not crazy, but Plague Spreader is like four bucks. So. Just adding insult to injury, just adding any value at all, to be honest. All right, this is it. Ghost from the past two. You really need Dark Magician Girl Blue Eyes. That, I think, would win it for you, because Dark Magician Girl Blue Eyes are both 100, and I think Dark Magician Girl is like 140. Blue Eyes is like 120. Maybe, actually, it might be 145 for Dark Magician Girl, maybe 150. Blue Eyes a little, maybe 125, something like that. Okay, four packs. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just go right. Why are we have so many Red Dragon Arch Fiends? That's three different pack arts of Red Dragon Arch Fiends. That, would def that wouldn't be enough. I don't think a red dragon arch fiend would. I mean, we'd still take it, but I don't think it'd be enough to win. We have Balderock. We have Sandwich. The Sandwich. We have Boss Stage. And Protector of the Agent's Moon. <sighs> Ghost Gold. I mean, come on, Ghost. You have not shown up. That's Necro. We have Saturn. We have Mystical Sand. We have Vamp Shadow Vampire. And we have Deathbot 001. You still have not showed up. If you guys have enjoyed this versus video, make sure to let me know in the comments. Also, go check out my other gold rare openings. I have a lot of those. We have a gold series playlist. If you want to go check that out. Also, if you're a Poker Rocks fan, we've posted a video recently. It's doing pretty good. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Really long video of our rat last Radical Red 4.0 run. It was pretty awesome. Pendulum Mary, we have Dotscaper. We have DD Swirl Slime. We have Void Cauldron. 
and Outburst Dragon. All right, final pack. I saved DMG pack artwork for last because this is going to bless us with something crazy, right? 100%. It's going to happen. Here we go. Last pack magic. We can do this. Two from the back. We have Princess Cologne. They're down like 100 to zero right now. This might be the biggest beatdown in pack battle history if we don't pull something here. Dark Contract with the Executor of the Underworld. This little Pokemon action. Geomathmic Final Sigma. And finally, a number seven, Dragoolion. Good card, but oh man, what a beatdown that was. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.